I thought I would film a how-to video and today's video is going to be how to bake Beppa's scotch cookies. Um, Beppa is a Frisian or Dutch word for grandmother, so this is my grandmother's uh, scotch cookies recipe, also known as shortbread cookies. So hopefully you enjoy and uh, stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is measure out your ingredients. And first we have one cup of all-purpose flour. Then we have half a cup of icing sugar. Followed by half a cup of cornstarch. Now, ideally you'd like to uh, sift these ingredients together, but I don't have a sifter, so I'm just going to do my best to whisk everything together um, for a couple minutes just to make sure everything is nicely combined. Um, also, I have preheated my oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I'm not 100% sure what that is in Celsius, I'll have to look it up. So I've just added 3 quarters of a cup of butter. Um, and as much as I'd like to try to make this recipe healthier, there's just no point. It never seems to turn out. Um, so just go for it. Just go for the butter. And um, I'm going to combine it all now uh, until it forms a nice dough. And then I'll be able to roll it out. So now I'm just going to start combining everything together um, to try to form a nice dough. During this time I'll tell you a little funny story. Um, I remember when I was in university. Um, we, this is while well, my, my Beppa was still alive, um, my sister and I, we really wanted um, to make scotch cookies. So we're like, oh, let's call Beppa and get the recipe from her. So we called her up, we got the recipe, and we realized that her exact recipe, her famous recipe in our eyes, um, was the exact recipe that you could find on the cornstarch container. So our dreams were a little crushed at that point, but I don't know. She always made them the best, so. However, I will give a shout out to my mother-in-law, who also makes really, really great scotch cookies. Um, so you'll see that the dough is getting a little bit more crumbly right now, as it's slowly combining together. So I'll keep doing this. Okay, so what I've done is I just, um, once this formed into a nice little ball, um, I just wrapped it up with some uh, cling film and put it in the fridge just to chill for a little bit. I actually don't know if you're supposed to do that, but I find it's just a little bit easier to work with the dough. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it out, and I'm going to roll it out on a floured surface. And sadly, I do not have a rolling pin, so I'm going to be using a glass. So not ideal, but you work with what you have. about a quarter of an inch or so thick then you can use um, some cookie cutter shapes and then just start making little cuts okay so I've just cut all my cookies out into semi circular shapes and now I'm just gonna pop them in the oven for about 18 to 20 minutes so while the cookies are in the oven I thought I'd tell you another little story um, this involves my sister and I'm guessing that uh, before she even hears the story, she knows exactly which one I'm going to tell. Um, so, like I mentioned, she got the recipe from my grandmother, went out and bought the ingredients, made the cookies, and I came home from school, and they just didn't look right. They looked like really weird, thin, pancake-like things, and they just kind of like melted all across the tray. And I was just like, what happened to the cookies? And she said, I don't know, I followed the recipe to a tea, um, I mixed them all together, they just melted in the oven, maybe I cooked them too hot, I don't even know what her excuse was. Um, and as I was looking through her ingredients, she accidentally used corn syrup instead of cornstarch. So, when you're doing this recipe, please make sure that you buy the correct ingredients, i.e. cornstarch, not corn syrup.
watching. As you can see, we got lots of great cookies here to enjoy over Christmas. Um, it's a super easy recipe and I hope that you're able to uh, enjoy that as well. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And until next, until next time, I'll talk to you later.